Okay, I'm not really equipped to be able to do this easily with the console as my computer's in another room. But I will say, uh, pretty much wherever I put it, uh, all of the switches say they're open. Uh, I tried home, I tried max, I tried the middle. Uh, they're all they're all open no matter what, so that's probably going to have something to do with it. It is kind of strange how, even though that's the case, uh, going to home doesn't cause any problems. But uh, suffice it to say, uh, it's my finding. Okay, so I changed my rigging here a bit so that I can show... Uh, both Lubin and the machine at the same time uh, so that I can revisit the limit switch readout. Uh, I This is after I took apart one of the modules. I guess it was X I took apart and uh, took the switch out. And it did have some grease on it, but it seemed like it was functioning. Maybe the switch was causing it to short or something. I don't know for sure, but uh, why don't we go ahead and begin by connecting. Okay, the machine wants to home. Go ahead and let it do that. You're saying that X or that Z is kind of slow. Uh, that would be, that's going to be the next one to do is get in there. I'm just uh, trying to cover everything else before I do that. Okay, so let's see what the readout is. For these switches. Okay, so as we can tell, it says all of the min and max of all the limits is currently open. So why don't I go ahead and try to start jogging some of the positions here. Okay. Okay, so that still says open on Y. I guess you only switch on one side. I didn't realize that, but uh, I had assumed there would be switches on both sides. This one here uh, doesn't go any further, but it doesn't crash. And that's going to leave X. I guess I clicked it too much. Let me take it slower. Read out. So all of them are still open. Okay, so I got the one cover off, and uh, this is the non motor side, and this is the x axis to start. And the limit switch appears to be in good shape, as far as I can tell. However, it does have. A lot of grease on it. I don't think that's going to be related, but possibly it is interfering with the terminal. So I'm going to check it with the meter on the contacts and make sure that it changes states to start with. But it, it looks like it to put the cap on and push it 
out it does appear to be properly contacted at least on this particular switch uh, of course the problem is on the other side but uh, we'll, we'll start with that and uh, let me see what happens next here when I, I check it with the meter yeah so this, the switch is changing state So the switch itself is okay, and the the grease doesn't seem to be causing a short between the contacts either. So I guess that we could say this side is probably good. But why don't I go ahead and do one more test with it? I'll I'll, I'll bring the well. Yeah, I'll I'll max the the lead out all the way and make sure it's actually triggering. I'll set it back up with the meter after I move it out and then check it one more time. Okay, so this is going to be the center contact this time and it should be beeping. And it is, and if I move it... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is really hard to see. Well, maybe, shit, maybe not. Let me, I'm gonna have a hard time recording this. Let me, let me, let me make sure it's working. Well, uh, I could not get in there to measure that properly, so I, I figured it out. That is a really difficult screw to get to. Uh, but since it's out now, we can double check it. Something something didn't seem quite right. I mean, it may have just been because I was having a hard time and I could have been grounding out on the, uh, on the frame or something. And I just, uh, it didn't seem quite right. So I wanted to go ahead and get another whirl. Actually, it didn't, I don't think that was triggering. I'm going to try this again. First of all, COM is the furthest one out. So I should be getting something on one of them. Oh, thing timed out on me. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. The center does not and does. Center does not. Middle does. Is that backwards? Hang on. Boy, this is really really difficult here. End has signal. I think it's alright. End does not, end does, end does not, end does. Middle. Now I'm touching it. does yeah so we're <sighs> long story short the switch is fine so I'll go ahead and rig it back in there we'll move on to the next step there. okay just to give a quick video version of this one so these guys here are pushed as far as they'll go. 
It's a little hard to measure here, but let's call it. past two and a half, right? Two and nine sixteenths or so. Yeah, okay, so that's the same. And we can move them back. So look pretty, pretty, they look pretty close to each other as well. Um, so we're talking Nine sixteenths. Nine sixteenths. So those are the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot it up and look at what you were asking about the uh, the repeatability. But uh, I I I, I kind of believe that it's gonna be something stuck in here or maybe the switch in there on that side, but. I want to go through what you wanted me to go through first, so we'll do that. Uh, let me let me go look at the email and repeat what you said here. Okay, let's uh, do your tests that you wanted. So first, I will pull these modules up. Well, that's kind of strange. This one here feels a little draggier. This one here feels a lot smoother. Uh, anyhow, um, here's the platform. And, let's see. Looks pretty, pretty straight to me. Go ahead and power the machine on. Well, that sounds a little odd. I think the fan and the power supply is getting stuck. That's okay. I'll worry about that later. I can fix that. I'm resetting my tripod here. Okay, so now we want to go to control. Let it home. Okay. And just for good measure, before I proceed. 